All right, so uh, let's uh, now talk about dihedral groups. Uh, what are dihedral groups? They are groups uh, of uh, symmetries of regular polygons. What are regular polygons, you may ask? Uh, you think you can define one? Regular polygons. Or n gone. Regular polygon with n vertices. What is it? Uh, well, it's a polygon with n vertices uh, such that uh, all sides are equal. Uh, do you think that's enough? What else should we require? Uh, also, that all right angles are equal. And now, what is uh, a group of symmetry of such a figure? What is a group of symmetry of any set S, G, a group, let's say G, S, a group uh, of symmetries for a set S? Remember, I would get to formulate it. Yes, please. Well, group of isometries, right? It's a group of isometries alpha such that alpha of S preserves it. Of course, not necessarily point-wise, because then if we have three non-collinear points on the set, then such a group would only consist of identity, correct? So, um, why don't we start with a simple case of uh, Square, um, foregone, polygon with four vertices, regular polygon with four vertices, and our notation will be like this. We will uh, place our square on our first vertex on the x axis, and we will talk about a reflection a sigma, which will be reflection in horizontal axis, as well as rotation rho, uh, which will be 90 degree rotation about the origin. So for that we will need to introduce our line uh, R, so uh, we can talk about it as um, um, reflection H followed by reflection R. Then we also have um, vertical line V and uh, this line we will call L. So this is the notation that we will use for describing the um, dihedral group which is a group of symmetries of square, of the square. So, um, since it's a group of symmetries, then if it contains um, reflection, definitely it does contain reflection. Reflection preserves our square. Um, and uh, since it also contains uh, 90 degree rotation, it's clear that also the square is preserved under 90 degree rotation. Then it will have to contain all possible compositions of uh, rotations uh, of uh, 90 degree rotations as well as the reflection along with uh, reflection in the horizontal axis. So, uh, to begin with, we will have uh, rho, rho squared, rho cubed, rho to the fourth, which is identity, um, as well as all possible combinations with sigma. So. We will have um, rho times sigma, rho times uh, square times sigma, rho cube times sigma, and rho to the fourth times sigma. Uh, so pay attention that uh, this is uh, an involution. So we have sigma squared is identity. And uh, uh, rotations 
uh, in 90 degrees combined four times, rho to the fourth is also identity. Four times 90 gives you 360. Uh, so uh, we have these eight isometries, isometries which have to be distinct um, because well, it's clear that these four are distinct rotations in 90, 180 to 70 and 360 degrees. Um, and uh, uh, those in the second row, those isometries in the second row, are all odd transformations. So those are all even, and these are all odd. And uh, of course, none of those can be equal to this, but uh, moreover, uh, none of them can be equal to each other. Why? Just use the consolation laws. You will see that they are all distinct. So we have eight distinct isometries in this group. Are there more? What do you think? Well, if uh, we look at uh, all the possibilities, let's start with the first vertex. It can stay in place or it can go to this other three positions. So there are four possibilities in total. After that, let's look at, let's say, the second vertex. It has to be an adjacent uh, to the first one, since the distances must be preserved. So then after we mapped the first vertex into one of the four possible options, the second vertex has to stay next to it and uh, uh, each uh, each vertex has only two neighbors, so you have two possibilities for the second one to be mapped into. So, four possibilities for the first, two possibilities for the second, that's eight. Uh, after that, everything else will be determined uniquely. Because then uh, there will be only one adjacent uh, vertex for the third one to be mapped into. Uh, there will be no freedom there. Think about it. So, um, since there are eight at most, then it's clear that we captured all of them here. So there are eight distinct isometries and nothing else in the group. So uh, next goal is to uh, write all, all possible uh, products. So the ultimate goal will be write, to write a multiplication table for this group, the Cayley table. But uh, so let's, let's start out slowly with uh, looking at uh, each looking at each uh, row case by case. Uh, a row to the first power is just uh, a rotation 90 degree by itself. We said that we can write it as uh, a product of two reflections in horizontal line followed by reflection in line 45 degrees which we called R. So remember we have 